So it appears that not only West Ham are set to lose Declan Rice this summer, a midfielder, we also could be set to lose another key midfielder for West Ham. Well, when I say key midfielder, he's been a key midfielder for us for for a while now, uh, a main player under David Moyes. But Thomas Suchek, there's rumours now that Suchek could be on his way. Um, the reason being, I think, is because if you look at the, uh, the contract situation, Suchek's actually the same as Rice. He's got two years left to go. Um, I, I, we've been critical uh, of, of Suchek on this channel. I have uh, a fair bit. I think a lot of fans have. Um, I, I'm, look, I, I, I like the fact he always gives... 100% to the club. You know he does. He puts his body on the line uh, for West Ham and he's a very, very likeable character. But he's not been good enough. Uh, let's, let's, let's not kid ourselves here. He's been he's been poor for quite a long time, uh, Thomas Suchek. He's, and although I would say he's improved, he did improve towards the end of the season, just gone, I'm still not impressed of him. You know, I... I, I it, it's, it, I, I don't think as many fans this season have been overly happy with Suchek at all and, and would be quite happy to see that position upgraded. Um, and I think that's what's what we're seeing now. I, I think we've got a new director of football coming in. We've got Declan Rice leaving. We've got certain things changing at West Ham. You know, look at Skamaka's future's uncertain. Antonio's is the same. There's a lot of uncertainty around West Ham at the moment in terms of... It just feels like they're going for a refresh. It feels like this Rice sale gives us an opportunity, actually, to just change things up at the club. And I think that I look at the Suchek situation and think that this is the prime time. This is a good time now to, to really... Get, let's move him on. That, that's how I feel. And I know it might sound a little bit harsh. I do like Thomas. I do... As a bloke, he seems such a decent guy, doesn't he? He loves the club and he's so likeable. And I like the fact he works hard, but he's not good enough. He's not good enough. For, and we, we, need to, we need to improve. For me, you've got Lucas Paqueta next season is going to be our focal point. He's going to be the man that's going to be built around that midfield. And I want to see him play better players around him. He's going to need that. Losing Declan Rice is a massive blow to our side, especially to Paqueta. And I don't feel comfortable with the idea of... If they're just... All I'm saying is imagine that what Moyes said, well, actually, we don't need to replace Rice. We'll just put Suchek in there. It just would never work at all. Um, so I get this. I, I actually understand this completely. Um, and I do think that that he could we could move him on. I really do. I think that could happen. Um, and the thing is... It, as I've said, the, the Rice sale, if you think about it in terms of midfield perspective, you've got the pivot of uh, Suchek, uh, Rice and uh, Paqueta. I think it gives West Ham an opportunity to, to look for better, to improve everything. We've got that money now coming in from Rice. I think that's going to help us massively to, to inject some life into that midfield now. And I think Suchek's going to be the one that we should sell. I, I really do. We're going to get back to the video really shortly, but I just want to let you know this video is actually sponsored by NordVPN. Now, NordVPN are a private network that allow you as a fan to watch games from the comfort of your own home. You basically can change the region that you're in. It also allows you to watch films, TV shows, things like that. Now, the other big thing is it's also on travel costs. So being West Ham, where you're in Europe again, and also you might want to go on holiday, but you can also save some money on your flights, on your hotels, things like that. It's really worth it. And look, for the monthly subscription, okay, it's less than a pint or a coffee a month. Now, if you go to the link below and use nordvpn.com slash West Ham way, you get four months free, completely free. And also after that, you get a 30-day money back guarantee. So just click on the link, go on it, give it a try, see what you think. Anyway, that's the video. And let's be honest, it's a great way for him to sign off uh, as a West Ham player, you think, Suchet. What a way to it, if, if he is to go. I'm just, I mean, this is, again, this is only a bit of speculation here. This is reports that have been, this is not, I'm not getting this direct from X or anything like that. This is just reports that are in the news. Um, but I believe, I do, I, I believe there's some credibility in it. I, I really do. Um, but as I say, I think it's a good way for Suchet to sign off from West Ham. You know, he's just helped us lift our first trophy in 43 years. Um, he's been a, he's been a player in Africa, been a club for a few years. He won, won the trophy back in check. I mean, it's just a nice time. What a way to sort of cut, cut the time off and move on. And the fact is, we probably will recoup a decent amount of money for him. We probably can do that. So I, I'm all for it. I really am. I actually do think it, would, it wouldn't bother me now. I, I, I wouldn't be, you know, horrendously upset if he stayed. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he has to go. But I don't want him to be a main player for us next season. He's proven enough over the last couple of years to me he's not good enough. And I just don't want to be back. I, don't, I, I want to see this season, this summer, as an opportunity to get rid of some Deadwood and get rid and improve the positions that are weak. He's one of them. Um, and I, I do think it's the right time. I really do. But as I say, if, if he was to keep him as a backup, that, that's not, I haven't got a problem with that. That really wouldn't bother me too much. Um, as I said, he's got two years left on his deal, uh, Thomas Suchek. Bearing in mind, he's 28 years old as well. So you're looking at what? Four years? 
this kind of level football, four or five years left, it's the right time. This is a good opportunity for West Ham to say, yeah, let's not bother renewing him. Do what we've done with, you know, with Declan's break for sale. So just just, just, uh, just put him on the market and see what comes in. Do you do think teams will come in for him, especially abroad? I'm sure there'll be teams that'll be interested in taking him on. Bearing in mind as well, it's quite obvious that West Ham's strategy in terms of um, funding this uh, uh, recruitment this this uh summer is i think it's going to be the majority of it's coming from player sales i think there will be some money there but i think ultimately that well, that's what we're hearing isn't it west ham have just had a summer we've just spent 200 odd million well not just a summer a year we booked danny ings as well so i think this this um player sales are going to play a key role yes declan will let's say declan brings in 800 i think skamaka will go i'll I, I look at opportunity for with su and say we probably could get you know maybe 15 million for him or something like that maybe 20 million i, I mean i'd like to know your thoughts on it what you think where you want to one you want to keep him what he's worth um but i, I don't think i personally don't think you get much more of him than that but still again we, we need it we need we, if we're going to bolster our um ranks this season we've like, so we'll linked with quite a few players we're going to talk about um some coming up as well see polini has been one harvey barnes looking at getting another striker in you know, we need the money. And I just think, you look at Suchek and I think he, he, this could be a player that we could offload and it wouldn't surprise me. Um, and we need an upgrade. We, we, West Ham needs to upgrade certain positions this summer. Um, there's, there's no two ways about it. There's a few play positions we are weak um, and we do need upgrading. The left-back position's been one, um, sorry, right-back, in fact, uh, is one that I do think needs seriously addressing. I mean, don't get me wrong, Soufal did, did very well towards the end of the season, but he's, he, again, he's, with his age and and with certain aspects of him getting injured and things, I just, there's not enough backup there. Ben Johnson isn't good enough for me. So I think that's a position we need to be looking at. Emerson's good enough. I mean, you've got, you've got Creswell as well staying on. But again, there's an ageing back line we need. But I look at, to be honest, Ollie Skiles for me. That's what I'd like to see him promoted to. But what I'm saying is there's positions in this team that are weak. And you look at, and we've looked at all season as fans, being so frustrated that players, certain players are just not good enough. And Such- I mean, I know some people might be critical of this, but Suchek hasn't been good enough. He just hasn't been for quite a long time. And I would see this as the perfect time, actually, um, to, to move him on. So the thoughts on my final thoughts on this are West Ham need to strengthen in the summer. Absolutely. There's no, no other way about it. We've got to get, we've got to make sure that we use this rice situation and turn it to our advantage. We've done it before. I did a video um, a couple of months ago or where it was, and it was regarding how, remember when we sold Julian Dix? I know we're talking quite a while ago now, but that was like that. We had one really, really good player and we were struggling. We had a struggling side. We then sold him to Liverpool and it was like, oh my God, how are we going to do this? And we actually were stronger. We got two really good players out of it and West Ham were a better side for it. And I actually think that could happen with the Rice situation. I think overall they'll go, well, we've got Barnes in, we've got a good striker in, we've got a solid midfield. I think West Ham are looking pretty good here. This, they've lost a the superstar, but they've, they've, built, they've done well. And I think that's what we need to do. And I think Suchek could be a good opportunity there to, to throw him in that. Let's get, raise some funds and, 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 and improve our midfield, definitely. Um. Yeah, and as I've said, my final thoughts on it are it's Paqueta. I I just think that for me, Lucas Paqueta has shown in the last period of the season that he is a player that West Ham have got to build around. He is an incredible talent. And we're gonna to struggle to keep him. I mean, that's how good he is, isn't he? That, that that that's what we're seeing. I don't not not this summer, not this summer. I'm I'm all but certain he's staying the summer. I, I don't think we've got any problems there, but I'm just talking, you know, coming up. So we need to be building a team around him, making the focal point. Um and as I say, I don't, I don't see a midfield with Suchek in it with him playing. I don't, I just don't see it. Um, and there's players out there. We talked about Alex Scott from Bristol City. Uh, these these players need to, we need funds for these players. And for me, Suchek, he's he's what he's got to go. 